Hi, welcome everyone. Bruce Schwartz here. Greatly appreciated. Thanks for taking the time to subscribe. The small circle on the left that will appear. Watch carefully where Aristarchus is. There we go. On the bottom right, that is that hole, the area. And so that is how close we are. So I try to get the surface really close and not just the ideal of really close. It's the ideal of seeing the surface. If we have to be further out to see certain areas, well, so be it. So long as we're able to see the surface. But that hole is really not big it could be only about three miles wide and look how wide i was able to get it so that's pretty cool and again my goal is just to share it with you guys and gals and um here's some red filter too because you guys tell me that sometimes not only the green you like the red and the other filters so change e3 between uh, le verrier and la place f those two craters just below sinus iridum and to the left um, southwest of Plato Crater is the Change E3 supposed landing. It is right there. We're just going to get a couple of views. Of course, I'm going to try to invert it uh, when I get better images and get closer for sure so that we can get an ideal of the surface terrain, but I still will show you what's around it. So at the back here, uh, if you guys remember, this is east of Bianchini Crater, which I'll show you is just there, and that is where I'm getting all the structures of... Um, uh, Bianchini crater that you'll see in a bit. First of all, here is sinus iridum, the surface and the structuring, uh, natural or not. Uh, probably not all of it is uh, structuring, right? Okay, but some of it is, and you can see these lines. And watch this. The black rectangles that I showed you in sinus iridum, look at them right there. I know you can't see them, but I'll show them better in a couple of days. Those squares and rectangles are right in our faces. Here is Bianchini Crater that had just got the circle up to show you, to give you an idea where we are. So we're looking around the sinus iridum and understanding it. So there it is, the apple bite, I call it, sinus iridum, and this is where Chang, Chang E3 supposedly would have landed in that second circle that you see there, just off to the uh, east of those two craters on the left.
because of the Terminator line, we're seeing all these elevated structures that you can see right there. These are so many different new ways that we'll be doing setups um, for me to be able to show you some objects and, you know, just basically talk to you, have some backgrounds, talk to you. Even if you want to talk or discuss about NASA photos, we'll be able to put them up here. Plato Crater, all the atmosphere, smokes, hazes on the surface. Look at the lines and squares and X's where they meet 90 degree angles. Well, here's Tycho Crater. There's a lot of lines going from that crater. I've been showing it for the past couple of months. It, they're very hard to see. There's a cloud over the area where those lines are leaving the edge, of the um, west side from where I'm seeing it now. So you see one, two, three, four, or five lines that are going directly to and from that crater or alongside of it. So here's a couple of angles. Well, they talk about Tycho Crater being one of the younger craters, right? Yes, well, I don't know, you know. I really don't know that any of these are craters, but again, that's just my given opinion, of course, and I don't have any proof. Look at the lights on the surface. I love capturing these uh, along the sides of the craters. There's a lot of little uh, details and well they're big details but you see them in a small way right a lot of evidence on the surface but you have to gather up all that evidence I always like seeing any shot where you could see elevation or any objects on the surface at all now here's where it gets interesting if you want you could say that hey there's water in the craters for example let's just uh, speculate if you look here Let's just say that there's ice, snow, or whatever up up there, and that it's melting down here like rivers, okay, half frozen, and winding up in pools all along the craters amongst some vegetation. Cool, huh? made one mistake anyway, someone did, when they took a picture of the flag. Remember that, not too long ago? They confirmed that the flag was there, right on the surface, standing up, if I'm not mistaken. Well, let me tell you something, how come there wasn't any hazes? So can they actually get to the surface? Rima Hyginus Crater, just to the left of it, here's where they said that volcanic underground chamber would have imploded. An earthquake would probably do the same thing, right? A spectacular view of surface elevated objects that go thousands of feet up into the air. And this is on the surface. Again, that white construction that I believe, um, speculating, we're speculating, um, could be some symmetrical constructed objects. Some of them are just too symmetrical. Something's happening right now in the world that not many people know about it. A spiritual connection, but it's a bit more than that. Basically, some people are opening up their minds, evolving, understanding what's to come, and they're actually getting information from the other side. Open yourselves up. I'm not kidding you. Open your hearts, your minds, and your souls to intake everything frequency-wise. Just pick up on every vibe. And at one point, you may just pick up on an extra sense that most humans have and do not use. Nature speaks to me. The trees, the water, the animals, and I'm not kidding in any way. Some people can pick up on energies of others and the energy in the air. Some can see the energy in the air. Do you know that? Some people can perceive things that humans will never perceive or even understand. Science studies many of these peoples in secrecy for sure. Look at the surface, just like Earth, nightlife. The moon's alive.
This is my mailing address. Houston, say again, please. Oh, 